we clearly have no choice but to jump right into this Sony personal portable air condition yeah. air conditioner. So the source is William CLL on the forum who says, "Would you look at this? Just in time for summer." Hold on a second. I got to find just the right spot to put this on this page so I don't accidentally show something I shouldn't. Hey, there it is. Just in time for summer, the Rion Pocket was announced for crowdfunding in July of last year. And Sony claims that at, uh, hmm, da, 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 at an ambient temperature, so that doesn't tell us what that ambient temperature is, but that it can cool the shirt that it's attached to down to 23 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and have a look at exactly how this works. Uh, actually, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna get to how it works in just a moment. Um, okay, the no, we're not, we're gonna too. jump, we're gonna jump, we're gonna jump right, hold on, we're gonna jump right into it. They began, <laughs> they began sales Wednesday, uh, the device tucks under your shirt and is worn in a slot at the back of the neck of a customized undershirt. Okay, so the wearer uses a smartphone app to turn the temperature down or up because the device can either <laughs> absorb or generate heat. And it was developed last year after Sony secured, get this, $600,000 during a one-week crowdfunding campaign. $600,000 they raised for this thing. I need to get into the business of creating just completely stupid bull that people can put <laughs> under their shirts. Here I am busy making shirts for, for LTTstore.com and I, what I should really be making is shirts and shirt accessories. Uh, so Sony set the suggested retail price at 13,000 yen. What is that? What's it says cost of device is fourteen eighty eight. So it's about cost fifteen of shirt bucks. Sixteen seventy four. So this is a thirty dollars solution, and here we go. I've been, I've been, I've been holding off on this. Been holding off. That's pretty cheap. So at an ambient temperature, <laughs> at an ambient temperature of thirty degrees Celsius. Uh, wait, is that forty degrees Celsius? Okay, this must be. This must be. 40 degrees Celsius for the hottest thing in the room, but we don't know what that is. So we don't know what the actual ambient temperature is, but something, something, 13 degrees Celsius cooler. So basically it's... Uh, it, it does say that it, it, it basically just creates a cold spot. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't like properly actually cool your whole upper body down. It right. just kind of creates one cold spot. The, so the biggest <laughs> thing for me, I, I overheat in every scenario ever. So this You're is so actually hot. mildly interesting. Thank you. Uh, this is mildly interesting to me. Yeah. But, and I don't often care about this stuff, but to a certain degree, like, eh, there's this big, like, box on your back. Well, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's have Isn't a look. weird? No, let's have a look at the device, okay? Because it tucks inside the shirt, right? Yeah. So... Have you watched the video? Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I was going to play the video on the show. I wanted to, I've, I've already heard about this and I remember the original crowdfunding campaign when I looked at this thing and I was like, that's just a tech. And, uh, then I think we might've even covered it on the WAN show back when this was happening, but I think we just kind of moved on pretty quickly because it completely didn't matter. I didn't necessarily think anything was going to come of this, but let's go ahead. Let's let's enjoy the video here together, shall we? Okay, so here's this guy. He is someone is sweating. A diff another guy is not sweating. Oh wow! This is Are you skipping through it? So cheesy. No, I'm watching the whole okay. thing. Okay, you you got you got to see it like. Maybe pause at, I'm going to get you a second. Pause at 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not great. That's what I'm talking about. And that, um, that looks like that's his, his dress shirt over top of, because it's more of an undershirt, right? Yes, yes, yes. So that, that's his dress shirt over top of it. So you already have the maximum amount of masking that you could have going on. Yeah. I don't know if you put like a jacket on top of that. But then yeah. uh, you know, take a 
function very well through that jacket as well. You know what's interesting to me about the thermal camera image though is not necessarily the cold spot here, but rather the the generally cooler uh, spot under the shirt and also what appears to be like a hot spot where the exhaust might be. You, you notice that? Where's the, what, what timestamp is that? Uh, no, this is in the, the thermal camera images from the forum post. Oh, okay, one second. So there's a generally colder sort of back of the person who's wearing it, but then there's like this hot spot on their neck. And I don't know about oh. you, but I think that for me personally, having like a really cold spot oh. right on my back and then like a hot spot on my neck, those things might kind of end up working against each other. It does, it does, well, his overall body temperature goes down and that hot spot might just be a notably not cooled area, if that makes sense. I want to try it. I want to try it because... I would 100% try it. I have actually found that like the best thing that I can do on a hot day is not necessarily drinking water. Because I don't know about you, but I find when I take like chug, like a big drink of water on a hot day, even if it's really cold, I will immediately start just like sweating through however many layers of clothing it is that I'm wearing. Like it is absolutely disgusting. I mean, that that is your body temperature regulating. Yeah, um, but like, why is it that when I take the drink of cold water, suddenly my body's like, I need to sweat now. Well, because it's going like, okay, I, I have I have the, 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 the water in order to sweat now. I guess so. Well, I hate it. So I actually find <laughs> I'm usually better off taking the cold drink, putting it on my neck, warming it up and then drinking mm. you know less cold water like i actually find okay. that works better for me oh, okay so, i see okay so i would be very curious to try it now if the exhaust heat just like goes up the back of your neck and you're just like cooling one part to warm another that's pretty stupid but if it yep. actually manages to get the heat far enough away from your body that you can that you can really you know cool down with this thing hey i it's a little humpbacky, but I, I I could be talked into wearing it. I don't see anything about battery life in here or anything like that. But first flight, uh, Sony.com, man, official website. Oh, you know what? We should we should probably go visit the official website together here, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty six degrees, twenty three degrees Celsius. No, this is pretty much all. You know, oof. There's another picture here where the the hump on the back actually looks a lot bigger than like the the image where you see the the undershirt and the device itself next to each other that looks really big whoa okay so in the dock it says the cost of the shirt is sixteen dollars and seventy four cents the cost of the device is fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents i don't know where they got that from on Amazon, it's 22,590 yen, right? Mm -hmm. Just doing a quick Google search, uh, 22,590 Japanese yen equals 285 Canadian dollars. Really? Yeah. Auto mode, hold on a second. It will automatically like, what it'll automatically go get colder while you're walking this is the most over engineered like usb tech cooler that i have ever seen like so it's there's app control for it it can cool or warm iris it can warm yeah 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 i, I believe it can warm as well interesting uh, I, if I'm wrong about that, I, you know, I'm sorry, but ultimately like who cares? You shouldn't probably buy it anyway. Like here, why don't we just, why don't we explore and try and find uh, a viable alternative to this? So USB beverage chiller. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> you remember that one from Cool It Systems way back in the day? Yeah. That thing was so stupid. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still exist though. So here's a mug warmer. Uh, you know, I don't see, I don't see an equivalent. I can't believe the people who gave that thing a positive review. It like obviously didn't work. Like obviously didn't work. 
USB tech cooler. Hold on a second. Okay, Alibaba, alibaba.com. Here we go. Oh, I don't have a USB. You know what? Maybe they have actually created something that does not exist. Although some of this stuff looks pretty good too. Check this out. We've got the personal portable air cooling neck band fan. I'm liking that one. We've got the kid-sized air conditioner up in here. I know there's like jackets and stuff that have had air circulation fans built into them, but I don't know if they've had like technically AC. You know what I mean? Did you see uh, Adam Savage built a uh, like a personal air conditioner unit um, that could go in like a mascot suit, like a like a fur suit? Type oh, that's thing. pretty cool. Yeah, that was that was pretty neat. Do I drive a Peltier? You don't drive a Peltier on a USB connection, period. Yeah, okay. So here's why nobody's done a uh, Peltier USB cooler since then. There's a good thread on Instructables. It's like, yeah, you just shouldn't do that because it's really stupid. So that's fair. That's fair. Uh, so I guess Sony had to do some pretty, uh, some pretty fancy engineering in order to bring this thing to life. But uh, maybe they shouldn't have.